So, three persons murdered. First, Peter Van Garrett and his son, Dirk Van Garrett. Both of them strong, capable men, bound together, decapitated. One week later, the widow Winship, also decapitated. Now, I will need to ask you many questions, but first, let me ask, is anyone suspected? <coughs> How much of your superiors explained to you, Constable? Only that the three were slain in open ground, their heads found severed from their bodies. Mm, their heads were not found severed. Their heads were not found at all. The heads are gone? Taken. Taken by the headless horseman. Taken back to hell. Pardon, I, I don't. Perhaps you had better sit down. The horseman was a Hessian mercenary, sent to these shores by German princes to keep Americans under the yoke of England. But unlike his compatriots, who came for money, the horseman came for love of carnage. When battle was joined, there you'd find him. He rode a giant black steed named Daredevil. He was infamous for riding his horse hard into battle, chopping off heads at full gallop. He'd filed his teeth down to sharp points to add to the ferocity of his appearance. This butcher didn't finally reach his end until the winter of 79. Not far from here, in our western woods. Western Woods is a haunted place where brave men will not venture. For what was planted in the ground that day was a seed of evil. And so it has been for 20 years. But now the Hessian wakes. He's on the rampage, cutting off heads where he finds them. Are you saying, is that what you believe? Seeing is believing. They tell me that you brought books and trappings of scientific investigation. This is the only book I recommend you read. I see. Reverend Steenwick, gentlemen. Murder needs no ghost come from the grave. We have murders in New York without benefit of ghouls and goblins. You're a long way from New York, Constable. The assassin is a man of flesh and blood, and I will discover him. 